assessment one and today here we are going to discuss the uh, revision assessment one i think all of you uh, submitted already submitted the assignment here right here there are uh, 10 questions uh, we'll see one by one here first question explain uh, what is computer right that's uh, easy one uh, most of you uh, gave the correct answer for that computer a computer you can define as a collection of circuits actually computer uh, consists of uh, made up uh, by collecting various types of circuits therefore uh, one definition is computer can be identified as collection of uh, collection of circuits electronic circuits right it's better to uh, answer given as uh, electronic service, uh, electronic circuit. Right here you can use the word uh, electronic. Also, you can identify it as electronic machine. That's also correct. Electronic uh, circuits or electronic machine. Right. Then another way that mostly these computers can be used in for uh, data processing purpose data processing for, uh, purpose in that view we can uh, say computer as a uh, computer can be identified as a data processing machine and also it is correct computer is a data processing machine data processing machine that's also correct right uh, all of you uh, gave the correct answer for this question. Right. Then second question, state the difference between computer uh, hardware and software. Computer hardware and software. Right. Computer hardware refer to all physical parts of the computer. Right. Computer hardware uh, refers to all physical parts. That means uh, all tangible. We can touch it. Uh, all tangible or we can touch all the physical parts we can uh, we are referred to hardware and software right computer hardware hardware uh, refer to physical parts physical parts of the computer what are the examples the examples you can uh, identify outside the cell as inside the computer. Inside means uh, system unit. You can identify the uh, the large, somewhat large box you can see in the computer. Inside this box, this box is called system unit. Right? Whatever the uh, units you can find inside the uh, system units also categorized as hardware. Uh, Mostly you can say uh, the things you can see outside the computer, that means keyboard, mouse, printer. Uh, those are the, some examples for hardware. Uh, if you consider the inside the system unit, uh, hard disk, motherboard, motherboard are some of the uh, examples you can find uh, inside the computer uh, for physical uh, computer hardware. Right. Then what is computer software? Software. Software we can identify it as a set of instructions. Set of instructions. Right. Uh, if you want to do something with the computer, you have to give instructions. Uh, for examples, computer software, that uh, for example, you can say MS Word. That means if you want to create a document, then you can use word processing software, for example, MS Word. Or another example, if you want to do some uh, numeric or calculation work, then you can use uh, MS Excel. Right? Then if you want to do some uh, processing, image processing activity, then you can use uh, Photoshop or Draw in the, those type of software. Right. Then software, you can identify it as a set of instructions. Set of instructions. Uh, then there are some categories also. Uh, 
both hardware and software there are uh, categories uh, i think uh, already i gave the the structures for computer hardware and software then uh, to remind i can remind uh, in little bit for that hardware this uh, hardware you can divide it into mainly two parts uh, external and internal external and internal external mean uh, the hardware that you can see that mean outside the system you need this uh, external also you can identify input devices and output devices right uh, internal section also you can identify as computer memory and uh, cpu central processing unit in that way you can categorize the computer hardware uh, like that uh, some computer software also you can categorize mainly uh, three categories computer software application system software and translators right uh, in that way you can uh, categorize the computer software also right these uh, parts already in your books i think uh, then you can refer the structures uh, of these categories also i right, will move to the next question excuse me sir oh yes uh, there are some in the waiting room i talk okay. Right, okay, we'll move to the next question. Uh, explain uh, what is input, output, and process. Name two devices for each uh, input, output, and process. Right, that's a simple terms. Uh, that's the basic terms of the computer. Uh, if you consider the computer, then uh, com you should know what is input, what is output, and process. Right, that diagrammatically I can show Uh, the relationship between these two these three terms here uh, suppose in the middle here computer this is computer uh, to work with the computer we need data then uh, there should be a way to input data into the computer right? you are going to input data right this mean input that's the first term input mean uh, we are going to give in the necessary data to the uh, computer that's input right then uh, inside the computer that mean uh, whatever the data captured by the computer then uh, inside the computer there's a something happening that is called processing processing activities happening inside the computer processing right uh, then after the processing it will produce the produce some meaningful things uh, to the users this is called information information or output that's the uh, technical term output uh, that's the relationship between input processing and output right then i uh, will see the devices you can use to use for each operation here Uh, what are the devices you can use for uh, input if you want to input something to the uh, computer mainly you are using keyboard keyboard then uh, mouse uh, scanners right if you are using scanner then what type of inputs uh, what type of data you can input to the computer to the scanner image right image then then what are the other in types of input devices scanner keyboard mouse then webcam right digital camera in that way you can categorize many input devices then uh, what are the processing devices that mean the devices involved with the processing activities of the computer processing what are the uh, processing activities hmm? 
the main device is CPU, CPU, central processing unit. Central processing is unit, is the unit that uh, we are using uh, to process in the data, process in the data. And to do these activities, the CPU containing three other main uh, process uh, devices, and ALU, control unit and registers. Right. In a later question, I think uh, we can discuss in more detail about the CPU. Right. Then output devices. Uh, mainly monitor. Through the monitor, the output you are getting through the monitor called as soft copy. Soft copy means the output you are getting through the monitor. Uh, then the other main types of output device is printer. Right? Uh, the output you are getting through the printer called as hard copy. Hard copy. And, uh, in addition to that, uh, if you want to get sound as output, uh, then you can use speaker. And if you want to sound input, then what's the device? Hmm? You can use uh, mic to uh, input sound into your computer. And then I think you get the point for question number three. Uh, then question number four, it's asking about uh, the name and briefly explain to input devices that support to your teaching and learning process. Teaching and learning process. The, they are asking uh, to list out some devices, uh, input devices that specially need for your teaching and learning process. Then, what are the devices? Can you uh, suggest one? Teaching learning process, webcam. Right. These days, these input devices are very very important. Most of the teachers. Uh, uh, doing online classes, right? Especially these uh, devices we need when we are doing the online classes, right? This is uh, very popular, this type of devices. Webcam, through the webcam, we can uh, input our videos, uh, pictures to the computer. Then, what else? Light pen. Light pen, this is another a popular device uh, whatever the writing in here i am writing uh, here i am using the light pen for that right uh, whatever the things you see in the screen right then i am writing from here these uh, writing are happening uh, through the light pen then another device actually uh, pen drive so memory devices also you can consider as a input run input device to the pen drive, you can input various types of uh, documents, uh, sheets like that. Right. Then, what about the multimedia projector? Multimedia projector. This is categorized as what? What device? The output devices, output devices, multimedia project is the output device. Then digital board also very important. Digital board. That's also another input device uh, important within your teaching and learning process. Digital board. Right, I think you got the point. Uh, the devices that important uh, when you are. Uh, while you are while, while you are teaching and learning right next question question number five they're asking about uh, computer memory computer memory some of the students conflict with this uh, identifying the memories and memory types and the measurement right this question asks uh, three parts first one is what is memory then you have a 
a little idea about what is computer memory. Then how you are going to measure it? The, what is the measurement they are using? And the, the relationship between these measures. Right, three parts, this question contain three parts. Right, what is memory? The first you want to understand about memory. Computer memory. Right. If you want to uh, store something, right, uh, some data, it may be a, a document or worksheet, image, whatever the uh, type of data. If you want to store long time, then you want to use a type of memory. Right? Therefore, memory can be identified as a storing device. Storing device. Right? If you want to store something, right? therefore, storing device. Memory can be identified as a storing store device. Then types of memory, according to the data you are going to store, right? you are storing various types of data. Right? According to the type of data you are going to store, this memory can be uh, categorized into several parts. Right? Then second part, uh, yeah. memory categories also you want to know here, uh, mainly two parts, primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory, PM stands for primary memory and secondary memory. That's the two main part. The primary memory, not for users. This is only for computer usage. Right? Primary memory store data need to internal operations of the computer. Right? Primary memory is used to store data. Store data needed. Store data needed to internal operation internal operations of the computer operations of the computer right uh, needed to internal operations of the computer that means not for users and for example uh, operating system Right. Operating system is required to uh, perform internal operations of the computer. Right. In that way, we can identify the primary memory. Right. Again, this primary memory, we can divide it into two parts. Right. This internal data, according to the uh, nature of this internal data, again, we can uh, divide this primary memory into two parts. Right. That is... We can identify it as computer uh, RAM and ROM. RAM and ROM. RAM stands for random access memory. ROM stands for read only memory. Right. RAM uh, stands for random access memory. ROM stands for read only memory. Uh, the data you are going to store in the ROM, actually you can't store anything in the ROM, uh, only manufacturer. When the time of manufacturing the computer, the relevant data store inside the ROM. This, uh, whatever the data you can find inside the ROM are permanent, permanent. That means you can't uh, delete or you uh, can't store anything inside the ROM. Only the manufacturer do it. Right? When the time of manufacturing the computer, whatever the necessary data store inside the ROM. Right? A special program you can find inside the ROM called BIOS, Basic Input Output System. Right? Uh, once you switch on the computer, the first program I start to activate is this BIOS program. Once you switch on the computer, first computer program activate inside the computer is this BIOS, Basic Input Output System. Right. It will do some tasks in uh, your case, uh, no need to know the uh, functions of this BIOS. Uh, remember only the name, right? name of the uh, program that store inside the ROM memory that is called BIOS. Uh, therefore, also known as permanent memory, permanent memory. 
platform also known as permanent memory because uh, whatever the uh, data find inside the memory you can't delete it right there's a lifetime it's uh, keep the data uh, inside the rom lifetime of the compute but uh, the ram the data find in the ram only temporary only the power is in the computer uh, the ram data is can therefore it is known as a temporary memory right? uh, for example suppose you are doing something uh, in the web right? you are uh, writing a letter in the web right? letter in the web this uh, first time when you are typing this letter in the computer that particular letter store in the ram right? before you are storing it the long term purpose right? this first time this uh, particular letter or data store in the ram right suppose suddenly uh, power off then what's happen the data inside the ram all data delete right therefore uh, better to if you want to long time the use this uh, type of data you want to uh, store this data in a long term memory long term memory means secondary memories these secondary memories are available for users Right. whatever the data you are creating store inside the secondary memories right. for example hard disk uh, pen drive then uh, cd or dvd memory chips mm, external hard disk that way uh, there are many many types of secondary memories uh, available today in the market the secondary memories here remember secondary memories is available for store the user created data user created data then if you want to store data a long time you can use one of the uh, secondary memories available here right that's the first part of this question what is about memory right then how you are going to measure it? think about how you are going to measure the memory measuring memory right. to measure the memory uh, we are using the measurement right measure the memory that for example if you want to measure the distance between two point and okay? uh, measurements are available right? that meters kilometers are the measurement then if you want to uh, measure a liquid then there are many types of measurements uh, liters kilo uh, liters milliliters in that way. right uh, like that to measure the capacity of the memory capacity of the memory uh, they are using a measurement called bit 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 one mean the space required to store one character or one letter bit means space required to store space required to store uh, one letter or uh, one digit letter may be a to z any letter or uh, 0 to 9 any digit right. that's called bit 1 right. bit 1 then we can identify the other capacities other types of uh, measurement based on the bit right. here see some uh, relationship between these memories right. bit that you i think you got idea about the uh, space about bit 1 uh, like that 8 bits 8 bit called 1 byte right. then 1024 bytes called 1 kilobyte then 1024 kilobyte called 1 megabyte
right then 1024 megabytes called one uh, gigabyte then 1024 gigabytes one terabyte right. in that way you can identify the relationship between uh, memory units right. that's about the question number five Right, then question number six, what is the difference between primary and secondary memory? Primary, me secondary memory, I think you got that point uh, from the explanation I made for the question number five, what is memory? Right. Therefore, uh, I think you got idea about the difference between uh, primary and secondary. In uh, short, I can say primary is used for internal use of the computer only for the internal use, primary memory, secondary memory for users. That means uh, the person who are, uh, people who are using the computer. Then question number seven, state two examples for primary memory. Examples for primary memory. That's also I explained in the book, uh, in the question, under question number five. Right. What are the main examples? Hmm? Primary memory, example for primary memory. ROM, read only memory or RAM. RAM is another example, random access memory. Then uh, cache memory. Cache memory also you can find inside the computer. That's categorized under primary memory. Normally, cache memory we are using to uh, improve the speed of the computer and speed up the computer. Then another important memory called registers. Register. Also categorized under primary memory. Also, we are using these registers to improve the speed of the computer. Speed of the computer. Right. That's the uh, main types of uh, primary memories. I'm asking you to write down two of them. Then question number eight, briefly explain about the following types of uh, secondary memories, secondary memories. Right. Then uh, also I explain uh, something about these memories and the question number five, uh, hard disk, uh, you can find inside the computer. Normally, uh, capacity of hard disk uh, in these days, you can find uh, one terabyte or two terabyte hard disks also available. According to the uh, finance or money, you can spend according to your uh, paying uh, money. Yeah, this depend on the size right you can uh, if you able to pay more money then mean you can buy more capacities right uh, dvd mean a digital versatile disc digital versatile disc dvd stand for uh, normally capacity range from 4.7 gigabytes that's minimum up to 9 gb right uh, dvds are available uh, 4.7 GB and 9 GB in that way. Then pen drive, normally uh, all of you having a pen drive, uh, I think you, uh, all of you are using it, right? Normally if you want to uh, move your data from one location to another location, uh, this easiest way to use the pen drive. Pen drive, the capacity of pen drive also available in uh, from minimum actually eight, GB, uh, then 16 GB in that day uh, up to, uh, there's a pattern you can identify 8, 16, then next one 32, then uh, 64, 128 in that day, uh, pen drives are available. External hard disk, that's the very similar to the internal hard disk, only the difference is this external hard disk you can attach uh, from outside the computer. Also, you can uh, use as a moving or portable device. Portable uh, device, the only the difference is uh, you can't use external disks for the booting purpose. 
to uh, boot up the computer. Right? To boot in purposes, only you can use hard disk. That's the exists inside the computer. Right? That's the uh, only difference between the hard disk and external hard disk. All of these devices, uh, actually hard disk, pen, uh, pen drive and external devices. Ha external hard disk available uh, available as a, a USB port. Right? If your computer consists of USB drive, USB port, then you can connect the pen drives and external hard disk. Right. Then question number nine. What stand for CPU? What are the three main parts that contain the CPU? Name two popular names of CPU. How you can measure the speed of the CPU? Then question number 10. Last question. Draw a block diagram that contain in the following parts. Actually, the last question, uh, all of you, actually many of you uh, giving, giving the wrong answer for the question number 10, the wrong block diagram. And therefore, I want to discuss these two questions, question number 9 and 10, uh, in somewhat detail. Uh, actually, we are, our time is now uh, passing. Therefore, only a few minutes available, I think uh, three or four minutes available. Uh, therefore, I'm going to stop the lesson here. Right. Next week, uh, I'm going to discuss this question number 9 and 10 and uh, I'm starting to discuss the revision number, uh, revision assessment 2 also. Right. Uh, next week, I am also uh, trying to give in the revision assessment 4. Uh, try to answer revision assessment 4 also uh, after I'm giving the uh, paper. Right. Okay, any question? Only 3 or 2 minutes available. If you have any question, you can ask now. Right. This recording is available in this lecture. I am uh, put this recording onto the uh, your group. Only I am putting this on the main group. I'm not going to put uh, separately on your uh, class groups. Therefore, uh, get this uh, recording from your main WhatsApp group. Any questions? Right, okay. Therefore, uh, I'm going to stop. Uh, the lesson now. Right. Thank you very much for the participation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.